Hello scientists, welcome to Triple Mad. This video I will show you uh, where you can find some free illustrations for your uh, publications. And this is a database called the Smart Severe Medical Art. Uh, I'm not in any way affiliated with them. I come to know them because my college thesis advisor uh, sent me the link, so that's how I found them. Uh, I personally never uh, need to use this because I can draw these by myself, but uh, a lot of my workshop participants have asked me about where they can find some free illustrations. So here you go, uh, you can find it here. Um, this is also the first time I t check it out, so you will see my live reaction on the uh, quality. You can go to smart.severe.com and then um, you will go to their page. It, is, uh, it looks like here. Um, so apparently they have anatomy and also cellular biology, medical specialities and general items and uh, they claim to have 3,000 free medical images. So let's take a look at them. Um, okay, where are they? Okay, so I guess I need to click on these then, uh, anatomy and the human uh, body. So let's um, take a look at the respiratory system. Okay. So here uh, they have uh, 32 illustrations. Um, yeah, they look actually quite nice. Um, I think, oh, a lot of you have asked me about the lungs, so we can find the lungs here. Okay, let's uh, take a look at the other um, categories. So world map equipments, equipments. I think this can be also be quite handy. And let's see what they have. Analysis flask. Um, agitator. Oh, this one. Yeah. <laughs> I think this, this can be a good one. Uh, if you need to show that you are uh, agitating your appendrove. Not sure if that's how you call it. <laughs> I didn't know it was called agitator. Uh, this is so funny. Uh, let's agitate our samples. Mm, to make them irritating. Oh, uh, so now uh, when I download this, it offers me the entire uh, set within a PowerPoint uh, file. Okay, great. So microscope, and then you also have your uh, sample uh, carrier uh, microscope. That's good. And it seems that they're all PNG file. Oh no, uh, they are actually vector images. Uh, so that means uh, yeah, you can edit it and also that means you can ch you can change the color if you want to Good, um, so agitators mm. Is this also called an agitator? That is so uh, Interesting, I didn't know the spectral photometry. Oh lovely uh, If you're doing uh, I think this is for protein analysis uh, that I uh, remember Pro for protein titra titration um, yeah, baths. This is also good. Okay, uh, I think the apparatus is uh, a good set. We can take a look at the other categories. Because uh, some of you have asked me about mice. Uh, do they have mice? Then, uh, animals, yeah. That's where you can find mice, I think. That would be great. Okay, um, so we have uh, beef. I think they mean kettles, right? Um, beef is when they are on a plate for you to eat. At least that's the kind of English that I learned. Um, yeah, let me know in comments. Can you just call a kettle beef? Um, cat, okay. A dog, dog, a green dog, a blue dogs, purple dog. Why? Why would you need these? Like, <laughs> uh, well, Okay, I didn't. I, I don't know what these reads are, but um, okay. If maybe you do some uh, CRISPR genetic editing, then you get to get them. This one I can see that this can be the fluorescence uh, dock that you if you have at the uh, GFP in, uh, then it can be green. Uh, but mm, so okay, different uh, color of uh, fruit flies that can be very helpful too. Guinea pig. Um, that it's a very cute one and then yes you got your mice 
you also got a blue mice. Like, do you, do you have this color for your uh, research? Uh, <laughs> where do you find these mice? Okay, um, I, I think I'll use a gray mice then. Um, okay, mouse fetus. Uh, yeah, they can be handy and yeah, newborn mouse. Mm, they don't look so cute here, but uh, yeah, that's how they look like when they're born. They also have pig, and here is uh, here are two obese mice. Um, yeah, it really blows up. So <laughs> if you want to use them, and rabbits, you have different colors of rabbits, including green, blue, orange. Mm, what kind of lab produced these? Let me know in the comments. Young mice. Is this how young mice look like? Uh, young rat. Okay. Do like do. Mm. This looks more like a capybara for me, though. Like a yeah, like an anoreic capybara. Okay. So, anyways, you can uh, find your animals here, and you can also find the colorful genetic altered animals. So, uh, yeah, I think they can be quite handy if you want to uh, add them into your graphical abstract. Okay, let me use the mice to uh, just take a look at how it works. Ah, okay. Uh, when I download the animal, it also gives me the entire collection. Uh, so, let me see the mice. Okay, the mouse. You have all kinds of color and uh, apparently it is also a vector image, I think. Yeah, so you can also change the color. I think this actually looks uh, better as a white mice instead of a gray mice. Uh, yeah, but you, uh, they uh, they give you the uh, freedom to do uh, adjustments, so I think that's very nice. And here are our uh, different stages of mice, including our capybara and uh, obese mice. This is so hilarious. This one. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, I do think they have a good rat, though. This is something I would use. That's really nice. And they also have green pig. Uh, yeah, I remember seeing this on some of the uh, genetic editing pigs that it, they glow in the dark. This really reminds me of those glow in the dark pigs. Um, yeah, fascinating. Again, I'm not affiliated with this organization in any way. Uh, I'm just uh, really sharing the information uh, in case uh, if you want to use uh, some free illustrations and then you know that you can come here to get them. And let's look at their usage license. Uh, that if they are as honest as they stated that you can use them freely. Mm, okay, severe medical art. Where can I find the license? Okay, uh, if we come down here, then you will see um, Creative Commons license uh, under the, so these are provided under these uh, license and let's see what is their terms and condition. Okay, so it's a attribute. Oh, something pops up. So it's an attribution 3.0 unported. Um, so we will see what that means. So you are free to share, uh, copy and redistribute uh, material in any media or format. That's really nice. And it can adapt, remix, transform, blah, 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 and even commercially. That is very, very nice of them. Mm. Yeah, the licensor can now revoke these freedoms as long as you follow the license terms. So, uh, here are the terms. Um, okay, uh, attribution, so you have to credit them. So, yeah, you remember to put them in your acknowledgement in your, uh, in your paper. Also, you need to indicate if changes were made. Uh, remember that. No additional restrictions, that's really nice. This is the free material that you can use, and I think they can give you some quick solutions. Uh, so, 
Mm, yeah, I would recommend it if you uh, want to use them. Uh, yeah, uh, so if you want to draw them yourself, then you can follow my tutorials on this channel. So uh, make sure you like, subscribe and share the videos uh, with your friends and colleagues. That can really help me to grow the channel. And if you want some emergency help with your scientific illustrations, you can go to my Patreon to uh, look at the Drawbomet helpline. I look forward to seeing you in the future videos and I wish you a happy Drawbomet.